Good day everyone, we're here to explore the fascinating world of Python programming. Python is a high-level interpreted programming language that has quickly become a favorite among many programmers worldwide. Its simple syntax which emphasizes readability and its versatility are just a few of the reasons why it's so popular. Python can be found in many areas of tech. It's a go-to language for web development providing the backbone for many of your favorite sites. But that's not all. Python is also a powerhouse when it comes to data analysis, helping to uncover insights and drive decision-making in businesses across the globe. And let's not forget about machine learning. Python's robust libraries make it a top choice for developing cutting-edge AI technologies. So, there's a lot to love about Python but like all languages it has its strengths and weaknesses. So let's plunge into the depths of Python and discover its strengths and weaknesses. First off we're going to delve into the bright side, the advantages of Python. Imagine a language that's as easy to read as a book, that's Python for you. Its syntax is clear and concise which makes it an absolute joy to work with. Python's simplicity shines through in its use of English keywords instead of punctuation, and its clean indented code blocks. This readability not only makes Python easier to understand, but it also encourages good programming practices. But Python isn't just about being pretty and easy to read, it's also about being powerful. One of the reasons Python is so powerful is its extensive standard library. This library is like a treasure trove filled with modules and packages that help you accomplish a myriad of tasks. Whether you need to build a web application, scrape information from a web page, or perform complex scientific calculations, Python's standard library has got you covered. Now let's talk about Python's dynamic nature. Unlike some languages that require you to define the type of a variable when you create it, Python lets you change the type of a variable on the fly. This dynamic typing makes Python incredibly flexible and fun to use, it's like having a Swiss Army knife at your disposal. And then, there's Python's strong support community. This is like the cherry on top of the Python cake. Python's community is filled with dedicated and passionate programmers who are always ready to lend a hand. Whether you're stuck on a tricky problem or you're looking for feedback on your code, you can count on Python's community to help you out. This combination of readability, power, flexibility, and community support makes Python incredibly beginner-friendly. It's no wonder that Python is often the first language taught in computer science courses around the world. But Python isn't just for beginners. Its wide-ranging applications make it a valuable tool for experienced programmers and industry professionals as well. Python is also the language of choice for many areas of computing. It's heavily used in scientific computing, data analysis, artificial intelligence, and machine learning. Many of the world's tech giants including Google, Facebook, and Instagram rely on Python for various aspects of their operations. So, whether you're just starting out on your programming journey, or you're an experienced coder looking for a versatile and powerful language, Python is a fantastic choice. Its combination of simplicity, power, and versatility, coupled with a supportive community, makes it one of the most popular programming languages in the world today. Clearly Python has a lot to offer, but no language is perfect, so let's explore some of its drawbacks. Now let's shed some light on the less glamorous side, the cons of Python. To paint a balanced picture, it's important to acknowledge that Python isn't perfect. It's a powerful language, yes, but it does have its shortcomings. Let's dive into them now. First off, Python speed. Compared to languages like C++ or Java, Python is notably slower. This is because Python is an interpreted language, which means it runs line by line, rather than being compiled all at once. This can make a significant difference in large-scale applications where speed is of the essence. For example, if you're developing a high-frequency trading algorithm or a real-time system, Python might not be your first choice. Next, let's talk about Python's performance in mobile and browser environments. While Python has been making strides in recent years, it's still not the go-to language for mobile app development or for client-side web development. Languages like Swift for iOS and JavaScript for web browsers tend to dominate these areas. If you're aiming to develop an app for the App Store or a dynamic web application, Python might not be the best fit. Another drawback of Python is its memory consumption. Python's simplicity often comes at a cost and in this case it's memory. Python's memory consumption is higher compared to languages like C or C++. This is because Python uses a lot of memory for object storage and other overhead, which can become problematic in applications where memory efficiency is crucial. Also, Python's global interpreter lock, or JIL, is another point of contention. This lock, 
allows only one thread to execute at a time in a single process, which can be a bottleneck for multi-threaded applications. While there are ways to get around this, they're not always straightforward and can add complexity to your code. Lastly, Python is not the best choice for memory-intensive tasks. While Python's high-level data structures are great for a wide range of applications, they might not be the most efficient choice for tasks that require a lot of memory manipulation, like 3D rendering or scientific calculations that involve large datasets. Now it's vital to remember that these cons do not necessarily make Python a bad choice. They simply define where Python might not be the best fit. In fact, Python's strengths often outweigh its weaknesses, especially for beginners and for tasks where readability and ease of use are more important than raw performance. Despite these drawbacks, Python remains a versatile and popular choice which brings us to our conclusion. Remember, the key is to choose the right tool for the job, and sometimes, despite its shortcomings, Python is that tool. As we've seen, Python, like any language, has its pros and cons. Python, a language known for its simplicity and readability, is a boon for beginners and a relief for seasoned programmers. Its clear syntax and indentation rules make it an easy language to pick up and its extensive library support is a time saver for many. In addition, Python's versatility allows it to be used in a variety of fields, from web development to data science, making it a favorite among a wide range of industry professionals. On the other hand, Python does have its limitations. Its execution speed, for instance, can't match up to languages like C or Java. This might make it a less than ideal choice for applications that require high performance. Python's global interpreter lock, or JIL, is another potential roadblock, as it limits the language's ability to handle multi-threading effectively. But let's remember, no language is perfect, and each has its place. The choice of a programming language should not be about which is the best in an absolute sense. Rather, it should depend on the specific requirements of your project and your personal preference. If your project requires high-speed computations, you might want to consider languages designed for performance. But if readability and quick development are your priorities, Python could very well be your go-to language. Every language has its strengths and weaknesses, and Python is no exception. It's about understanding these and knowing how to make the best use of them. Because at the end of the day, it's not just about the language you use, it's about how you use it. Python offers a balance of simplicity, versatility, and functionality that few languages can match. But ultimately, the decision is yours. So, whether you're a seasoned programmer or someone just starting out, we hope this video has given you a clearer picture of what Python has to offer and where it might fall short. Remember, the best programming language is the one that helps you solve your problem efficiently and effectively. We've come to the end of our Python journey today. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? From understanding the basics to highlighting the pros and cons, we've covered a lot of ground. But remember, the journey of learning never truly ends, especially in the dynamic world of programming. So, what's next on your Python adventure? Maybe you've discovered a newfound love for the language, or perhaps you've come across a hurdle you'd like to overcome. Whichever the case, we'd love to hear about your experiences and thoughts, so go ahead and share them in the comments section below. Let's keep the conversation going. And if you found this content useful, why not subscribe? You'll get more such informative content covering a wide array of programming topics. That's right, we're just getting started. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep exploring the world of programming with us. Until next time.